So my name is Erika Mann. I'm managing director for Facebook in uh, based in Brussels, and um, I participated in the dis discussion about uh, how the uh, jurisdictional space on the internet uh, can uh, shall be shaped in the future. And um, I love the topic very much because I think it um, it's a good way of uh, looking how the different legal framework sometimes clashes on the internet. So international law, national law, and of course cultural uh, diversities, and they all have to be harmonized. The interest is that interesting topic is that of course we have many uh, applicable laws to respect. Um, and this is already true um, and nowadays. Um, they're not always harmonized, so they have different characters. Uh, but on the other side, of course, it is important to keep the internet open. Uh, and I used the term of um, uh, common space, uh, the law of common space, which is a term quite often used in already existing international frameworks, um, like laws which exist um, on, on, on the sea, on maritime, or on space. And to some degree, I think we can learn from the history. There's not always the need to invent all the rules completely new. Important is that there's a harmony uh, between um, between existing national laws and between international frameworks, and uh, so we have to search uh, for this kind of uh, harmony. Um, it's not always already in existence. So I made a reference to mutual, recogni uh, mutual recognition agreements or to uh, the already um, existing safe harbor agreements. But there are other principles we can learn from. Um, the more overall arching uh, idea is, of course, to keep the internet open and to ensure that uh, users and business can use it freely uh, and uh, cross-border.